Hello my dear Capricorn, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between December the 1st to December 15, 2016 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. So I will start shuffling your cards and uh, I can inform you that we will have December 14, uh, the last of three super moons for 2016. This moon is also known as the full cold moon and the full long nights moon and as the moon before jewel jewel being the midwinter solstice december 13 to 14 there will also be visible meteor showers in the sky the gemini's meteor shower it is considered to be the most powerful meteor shower but will be a bit damped by the full supermoon this year but uh, if you will have a clear sky it will be a spectacular show i think with both the moon and on and all those meteorites so uh, i call the divine with love and light and i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and i call the six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear capricorn i want my dear capricorn to have love in their life to find themselves in loving relationship and i also want them to have creative success and to find themselves walking on their highest path towards their highest destiny. Timing. Okay, so we had a little jumper. It was a Knight of Pentacles. So I guess you focus on you. Okay. I'll just tune in a little bit. Okay, so uh, this is your future. Uh, this is your now and this is the past. Uh, the now is probably the first half of December 2016, but whenever you watch this is probably the exact right time to see it. So uh, the first card for you is Three of Cups. So Three of Cups is a wonderful card. It's about being able to work together, being on the same page, uh, sharing a foundation of love and, and working from that and the kind of... Uh, um, if problem is uh, showing up, uh, you are working from the platform of love, of um, sharing that stability of love. So uh, you don't have to be like so much in opponent just because you have a different point of view. Uh, so this is the kind of love that you can share with a special group of people. Uh, so if you are a very empathic person, you need to seek out other empathic person uh, to be able to share this um, uh, this equalness with. Uh, you can't try to get it from a person that's uh, uh, non-empathic or can't put themselves in uh, the state of your emotion to feel like where you are uh, and feel your feelings and it will be hard. So um, it's uh, it's very good to, to kind of um, um, gather uh, a social group around you that that wants to support you wants to be there for you uh, wants to uh, cooperate with you believe in you love you for the person that you are things like this uh, three is trinity and this is cups so it's a very it's like the, uh, working together with the divine on an emotional level uh, to make things better uh, and here is a four of pentacles and four of pentacles is kind of a person that has a, a lot of integrity. They are not letting whomever into their uh, castle. They have a lot of boundaries. Uh, sometimes this, this could clash. If you have like a person that wants to cooperate and a person having a lot of boundaries, um, this can create suspiciousness. Like if you have a lot of boundaries, don't want to yield, don't want to give in, don't want to compromise, uh, don't want to listen to what other people have to say, uh, then this is um, not possible. Uh, there's never going to be a cooperation. This one uh, is choosing to be an island. Uh, but sometimes you also need to have boundaries, even when we are with close friends, even if you want to understand each other. Uh, you might need to look at the small details like um, not being petty, but uh, kind of looking, um, are you really getting the support from the other people that you uh, actually give? Uh, so it's kind of uh, to put uh, the microscope 
uh, onto things or or the loop and try to find out what's really going on here. Um, this is a very closed system and this is a system where energy is being exchanged. Uh, this person might think that all uh, the things that's um, for me here on earth, I have earned it and I will keep it for myself. Uh, those people, they are understanding that uh, the more you give, the more you have. So uh, abundance is the key. This one is not believing really in abundance. But at the same time, um, empaths probably need more boundaries and needs to, uh, to kind of um, think of what makes them happy and what they can tolerate and what they cannot being with other empaths, then it's easy. You can talk about things and, and you can um, um, like joke about the other person's shadow and the, what they are not able to see and, 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 and kind of making like a loving game out of, out of this personal growth. But uh, with this, it's something else. It's someone that maybe has a lot of problem and doesn't want to admit to, to it and, and um, kind of fencing them in into this this wall uh, so we'll see what's going on here a little bit more if it's you in need of more boundaries or if you have someone in your surrounding okay this is the 21 world card so it seems like uh, this is a graduation test i think you will be tested both in your uh, cooperation skills and in your skills to be setting boundaries and also see when people are setting too much boundaries towards you and therefore are, are kind of this car card is called the miser like a person not giving um uh, so much um, they might have a uh, narcissistic behavior uh, where they think they need to keep everything for them uh, themselves and it can be it doesn't have to be narcissistic it can also be a person just being a bit cheap uh, both with emotions and with um, giving of themselves to others with opening up uh, things like this so it seems like it will be a graduation test here and it's um, this is a very promising card this is about abundance and um, because sometimes also very empathic persons can have problems with uh, putting up boundaries because they think that there is scarcity. If I'm not nice, no one will love me. Uh, so this might also be something that you need to shine your light on uh, to look uh, if, if you are being this nice and empathic and, and uh, nice towards others just because you think that if you put up a boundary, they will leave you. Well, uh, they might do, but then they weren't really um, friends like this. They didn't love you for who you were. They loved you for for being a doormat. Okay, uh, so the next card is Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles is, a, this is a person not uh, really enjoying themselves in this situation, but in the same time, they are very focused and, and try to go through a change uh, step by step, even when their emotion are are kind of going in a high tide and life feel like a roller coaster, you don't know exactly which uh, leg to stand on. It's very problematic. Uh, who am I? What do I want? Where are my ba boundaries? What am I doing just to be a people pleaser? What am I doing to kind of keep people out of my life? Uh, when I'm not taking responsibility for myself, when I'm, uh, am I uh, kind of burdening others with my um my problems or with my uh, it's more like this is a person uh trying to juggle two different uh things and sometimes it can be like um maintaining a lie or trying to make a person like you uh, and and showing up like kind of a facade sometimes um but it's an eternity symbol here so it's kind of a a pattern that has been gone going on for quite some time and with the 21 car card here it's kind of indicated that um, now you have a beautiful beautiful chance and a lot of support from the divine to kind of uh, uh, look into this with with magnifying glass and and really seeing uh, in the situation what what is happening what is causing you distress what is causing you to try and try to uh, you're trying to balance up something here what is it what is it you are trying to do it's it's something that's uh, it's very stressful so i'm feeling a little bit with this trying to be uh, like a little bit of a people pleaser not showing your true face but uh, showing a face which you believe that people will um, be able to love 
and and that you will be able to let being let in and uh, hmm. uh, so and it can also be like like a person opening up between um, being like this closed system and thinking of maybe this is not uh, good for me maybe this is like isolating me and, and making me miss out of things miss out on life uh, maybe this is um, a try to walk out of your comfort zone uh, opening up to uh, to more adventures uh, to opening up to be able to receive more more love and more intimacy uh, so it's it's some something here with this um, um, a person having um, trying new new things maybe in a relationship or in a, a challenging situation trying to change things um, probably mostly within within yourself yes here comes also the three of pentacles so uh, this is again tri <coughs> sorry trinity it's the same that you had here three three this is pentacles this is cups both pentacles and cups are feminine so the, there is something with this is earth abundance this is emotion abundance of emotions being able to share in in kind of a group uh, cooperation so it seems like you're working together with with the divine this is three and 21 two plus one is three it's the empress number and here you have also those three uh, so you are working on something and and you're trying to improve yourself not in the state that you are needing improvement but you have certain kind of um, patterning uh, things that you're doing like the same thing over and over again that's not really in your best interest and it's not really you it's something that you have learned like a survival skill or you have learned to kind of compromise yourself to be loved or learn to fence yourself in uh, so no one will come uh, and kind of hurt you or or um, um, let you down or betray you or something like that uh, so um, it's more of a, uh, a work of seeing uh, more and more for every day what you exactly what you are doing and when you are doing it and why you are doing it and also see like um, uh, what you're doing to enable other people to um, keep their uh, their kind of personality traits that's uh, not also in, not in your best interest and not in their best interest sometimes we are also enabling people um, to behave like uh, like a miser or or keep us out in the dark not telling us what's on their mind and things like this the two of pentacles is sometimes that kind of person wants to uh, keep up like a, a, a facade that's not really uh, truthful but it seems to be like um, uh, you have two of pentacles three of pentacles four of pentacles uh, so it's very much about um, how you are managing your everyday life here on earth in 3d like how you are managing with with this with abundance because this card is abundance and this card is abundance and this is card is about learning about abundance <laughs> uh, so um, this is about your creation skills uh, uh, sometimes uh, this fear of losing things may uh, cause you to lose things and uh, uh, this fear of not being not being able to be truthful not being able to be truly you because you think you need to uh, alter yourself to be loved is also a kind of a, a, a lie and a deceit that's also not really you uh, so it seems like um, you are doing some some soft stepping into being a more genuine person to being more truly you to taking more responsibility for yourself and what you really want and and not being such a like victim anymore but actually seeing things for what they really are and and um, empowering yourself because this is problem solving this is also problem solving uh, so it's um, more like what do i want and how can i get it um, and the first step is of course to see yourself and what you have been doing up to now to not get what you want and then take new steps uh, to renew this uh, so and here we have the full card and uh, so the full card is uh, kind of you untainted without all this programming sometimes there's a little programming it comes here 
<laughs> in this little uh, bag here and it's from past lives and experience that you have done in earlier lifetimes that's um, he's kind of unaware of it when he comes like a child like this uh, but it's about purifying yourself and trying to find out like taking uh, away layer after layer of programming and finding out who you are in your core like a really pure deep down in your uh, innocence the person that you were when you came to to earth uh, and here's a dog uh, showing you the right way so you won't fall out of the abyss here uh, it's your loyalty to yourself uh, you are the person that you are going to live with for the rest of your life. So you better be loyal to yourself. Uh, it's the only way forward. And being loyal to yourself doesn't mean to be in loyal to other people. Uh, it means instead to kind of being very truthful uh, to, to who you really are and uh, valuing that. Uh, but it comes also in, underneath the three of cups this with being able to work together with, with other people. Uh, it's like taking the shame out of being not uh, perfect, but kind of um, playing for this uh, this who am I and, and laugh against your uh, about your shadows and and being like trying to be yourself like in an environment that's letting you be yourself as well. Uh, so you need to create this also with the, with your friends and lovers and family, a kind of environment that's tolerating you being you and, and yet being loved and also tolerating other people having their shadows and their patterns and their ways and, and still kind of loving them and being uh, like very centered with this when it happens, when when persons are getting into their pattern and uh, not being... Uh, judgmental but actually like trying to help trying to help each other uh, trying to to uh, take off like burdens also from other people uh, underneath the four of pentacles here we have a five of wands and that's usually like kind of petty arguments and um, and uh, not this working together but actually having like this is what i want this is what i want this kind of argument that doesn't lead to to so much good uh, it's kind of a person that has taken a certain statement and, and they are safe with this. They feel safe. They feel no one will steal this from me and they are keeping this. I will win and they are kind of not yielding. They don't want to yield uh, because they think that they will lose something in this process. Instead of um, knowing that they won't lose a thing, they will uh, kind of experience more things and, and getting an understanding and connection with another human being. That is of uh, one of those persons, of course, need to be a bit more aware and, and be a support to the person that's kind of fenced themselves in like this and, and are not so self-aware. Um, kind of letting them do the mistakes, uh, point them out a little, a little bit like, um, this is how I see the things you are doing and, and this is the effect it has on me. Uh, can we talk about this? Uh, this person might not be very reluctant to talk about this. It, they might leave the scene, uh, fence themselves in, in this little, uh, in their castle, in their tower, uh, where they feel safe, where no one is stealing their stuff. Um, but we'll see where the story goes. Uh, hopefully... Um, uh, we can help this person to kind of um, understand that they are not losing something with seeing uh, that they aren't perfect because the fool is is not perfect but um, worth loving as the person that they are because they are um, kind of open with this kind, kind of being like Yes, I know I have my flaws, but I'm doing my the best I can. And, and please help me how I can do things better because they are like an unwritten page and in the same time being a divine spark on earth. Uh, so they are here to make this experience. So it's kind of a little clash here between uh, two. Yes, and here we have the tower, of course. Uh, so the tower is the, the place where, where this person has fenced themselves in. Uh, behind those thick, thick walls of my rules and what I want and how people are not supposed to treat me. It's good to have boundaries. We want to have boundaries, uh, but they shouldn't be like um, like a person cementing themselves in, in this is who I am and I won't ever change. Um, uh, our life is a 
It's an ongoing experience and we are here to experience and learn more and more about ourselves and expanding into abundance, being like more and more of uh, everything for each and every day. We're not supposed to put ourselves here saying I'm the only one safe. Uh, everyone else needs uh, kind of sitting here shooting arrows on other people and, and uh, I'm not going to change. And we see that um, God is not in approval of of uh, people doing like this so this is kind of the eye of god shooting a lightning here the crown is falling off people are falling out so this can be um, this can be a relationship breakdown like um, on work in a family um where sometimes it can feel like a very hopeless situation because even if uh, the other person is falling out of the tower the the one that's put themselves here you are also falling uh, so it's not nice because if you love someone and you want to be with someone and you want them to understand that you're not the enemy you have tried like talking very sweetly here and here <laughs> and try to make like change here uh, and it didn't help this person is still like very reluctant to do anything about it the only thing you can kind of comfort yourself with is that this person will also feel the pain uh, from being in this way and they might not have the same tools as you uh, to know how to take themselves out of this situation because the only thing they knew uh, the only thing they know is is how to keep themselves safe in that tower so the only thing they will try is to get back there as soon as possible uh, so uh, we'll see the next card here here's the the shadow side and this is the two of pentacles here where we're trying to see ourselves trying to see what we are doing uh, to ourselves and, and others and, and trying to shine the light in here. Uh, we want to, to uh, if we have certain life experience that kind of uh, relapses coming again and again, we are thinking like, okay, I need to make a change because doing the same thing over and over again is kind of the... Um, it's kind of crazy, okay? It, it's, it's not sane to do the same thing uh, over and over again, expecting a different result. Uh, so we are taking our attention. We are looking into this situation, trying to find out what's really happening here on a subconscious level. Uh, what, what did I say? What did the other person say? What was really going on? Uh, without judgment so much, but more with like... Um, a bright light of a logic, a calm adult mind that's trying to figure out uh, what's really going on behind the curtains. Uh, so it's not an easy thing because if if it's something that you were unable to see, it's not easy to just kind of switch on the light and see it. But what you need to do is maybe to record up the situation over and over again, trying to find out exactly where it went wrong and who said what to whom without the judgmental, uh, just seeing where, where you have your shadows, where you're hurt, where you're traumatized. Uh, so you're kind of... Uh, uh, grabbing on to an old uh, pattern of yours, how you usually survive those situations. Uh, so uh, now when this uh, situation have occurred, this thing have happened, uh, you can see this situation now because it has like, uh, it's like a recording that has shown itself again uh, in its all its glory. Uh, so here it is right before your eyes. Uh, being played out and, and you can see you can take notice you can be very aware in this situation trying to find out exactly what's happening it's not the end of the world this it's just kind of um, a situation that shows where you still need to be healed uh, where there's still work to be done where uh, you can um, do better where you can create better where you can create more abundance for yourself uh, and here's the sun and uh, uh, the sun and the fool is very beautiful depicted together like this. It's uh, like loving yourself uh, and also seeing yourself, loving yourself and seeing yourself. It's no contradiction. You don't need to be perfect. Uh, you don't need to um, to be like a, a good person in, in a society kind of way you need to just see who you are with all your feelings all the feelings that you have this is a white horse horses are very emotional they are brave and and um, um, 
can be kind of goal oriented, uh, but they also have a lot of emotions and, and they follow their emotions because this is what's keeping them alive. And it's also what's keeping them themselves. Uh, so your emotion might have a big clue to what's really going on in this shadowy place. This is what we want to, to enlighten. You see, this is the sun, this is the light, and this is the shadow. So what to do when you have a shadow? You put your light and attention into there and, and kind of see it in a very innocent kind of way. Not judging, as I said. It's very important not to judge because judgmental will create another shadow. So it's just uh, creating more havoc in your life. So try to see this like with a lot of love uh, and with a lot of attention. Attention, attention is needed for you to be able to see what's really going on behind the curtains. Um, with your patterns, with your uh, kind of conditioning that you have. Uh, so it seems like um, this is playing up uh, for you to have a really good chance to see what's going on and, uh, and um, being able to change it with awareness. Uh, and awareness um, is also what's going to save those uh, persons because uh, try, to, uh, tr try to have like a really shadowy, room and open up the roof so the sun can shine in. It's very hard to keep the shadows intact uh, if the light shines in. Um, you can take darkness into a light room and it won't be darkness, <laughs> it will be light. But you can take light into a dark room and get still light. Uh, so you need to know that light going to prevail. This is going to win over darkness. It just needs to be there. You don't you just need to give it attention. Uh, your attention is what's going to heal the matter. And also you uh, remaining calm. Uh, remain, remaining calm and, and centered and, and thinking like, okay, uh, okay, we need to solve this. Uh, and you don't need to solve it, you know, exactly right now. Uh, right now you see the thing. Uh, the next 10 times you can figure out uh, several ways to, to change it. But now what you need to do now to not put too much stress into this situation is seeing it and maybe also communicating it to your surrounding. Like this is what I see. This is how I feel. Uh, this is um, my reaction. And always because the feelings, a horse that's spooked and, and, and by the rider is not giving the chance to kind of jump or doing something else. They will have this adrenaline rush like going on all the way home to the stable and, and then they will flow, flow, <laughs> flew to the roof just because uh, like um, a plastic bag or something. Uh, so you need to be able to react on what comes to you, what's spooking you, what's making you afraid. You need to voice it because that's the only way to let the emotion just pass through you. Like, okay, this make me angry. I don't feel seen. I feel betrayed. Um, you don't have to big, uh, make a big drama out of it. Just tell it and take responsibility for that feeling. So your first lesson here is to actually actually see the event as it unfolding see this catastrophe like in slow motion when it happens it's not a big thing it's a petty argument leading to uh, some kind of uh, um, yes uh, communication breakdown and uh, the tower is a beautiful uh, thing because it's tearing down everything that's not built on a strong found foundation that's not built on truth in on the true you because the true you is the light that wants to shine through here uh, so every time you're big, building up a tower that's not truly you, it's going to be tear down. Uh, so it's a good thing, but it's hurting. And that's the thing that might be a little bit um, challenging. But if you just put attention and try to be adult and try to voice what you're feeling and, and um, communication to start with, to enlighten this situation, you don't have to change it the first time. You can have a lot of patience with other people as well and with yourself. Uh, so here's the, the future and here we have the Knight of Pentacles that made this beautiful jump when I shuffle the cards. So this is you and, and this is, uh, I think, a higher message to you with uh, having your goal, goal tied to the heart. Maybe not as tight as this, uh, but be loyal to what you feel inside. Uh, sometimes you might love a person that you think are crazy or they are not seeing you as as um, they, um, they are not loving you for who you are or um, 
uh, you might have a job that you love or something that is very dear to you but you're thinking no this is not this is not good but this is a card that's telling you that kind of keep on uh, keep on being very persistent uh, let this thing as I ha said happen a lot of time it doesn't matter uh, the only thing that you need to do is to see it when it when it happens it doesn't m m uh, need to not ever ever happen again it probably will and uh, it, it's kind of your reaction to it that's the key here uh, because it's going to happen again and again if you have a child for example that has a certain a personality trait that's uh, not um, maybe splendid and and you're trying to the first time it happens trying to help the child to kind of see what's going on and and putting a lot of attention to this and and giving them a lot of support and things like this uh, this is not going to be the last time the child does it but for every time this happens and for every time you give a lot of attention and love and support and still being there this is going to change and it's the same thing if you have a partner or a co-worker or something where the same thing is going on you won't change that situation in an instant but by giving it a lot of attention uh, you might solve it like first time you will solve one percent the next time maybe 10 and and then 20 so it will build up like exponential uh, and you also have this kind of clash here you have the white horse and and the black horse and you also have uh, the shell that's kind of um, um, almost undressed and this one that's armored um, so but in other case it's it's uh, very much a similar picture uh, so this is of course your shadows and how you were uh, kind of protecting yourself in the tower but it's also showing a lot of love and a lot of like um, a want to be uh, to be better and to do better uh, so even if you have a person that you like kind of making you crazy uh, they still want to be a good person they have not put themselves here uh, because uh, they are evil they put themselves here out of self-protection and out of self-love and they are not maybe as brave as as you are when you are um, uh, looking at this situation very um freely and with with big attention and, and unconditional love uh, so they might be more fearful and and needs more protection um but they are wants to play by the rules they want to do good they might be persons that's very like um, um do gooders in every kind of way like try to be perfect almost and and that might be one of their problems um but this is a person that wants to work wants to uh, wants to fix this and, and so you don't need to even if there have been some kind of split here I don't think you have to fear that the person is all gone or the situation is over and out um, uh, those cards were cornering the reading here and they are saying um, about the same thing problem solving uh, in the long haul like this problem is maybe not going to solve it say today uh, but we are going to keep working on it. Uh, so don't give up, I think, is the message with this uh, uh, jumper card. Um, keep on moving. Keep on. Don't give up on your goal. You um, now with seeing the situation, you are much, much better off uh, than you were when you didn't see it. When it just repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated and you didn't know why, why it was even happening. Uh, so now you know much more and this is also a person that wants to be proud of themselves and that's why they are trying so hard and, and that might also be why why they are a bit protective they don't want to see their own flaws maybe the black horse uh, so be a bit patient with this as well it's not because they don't want to be better it's because they think that they are not lovable uh, uh, if people see their shadow they can't have a shadow because if they have a shadow they are not worth loving uh, so it's a kind of survival thing with that like no one will love me if they see me for who I am and I can't ever admit to a, a flaw because uh, then I will be unlovable it's a terrible thing to need to feel like that it's not it's not nice but this is a very good trooper this is a person relentless to to try to fix it so they want give up so easily even if they are <laughs> protected and armored and have put themselves in the tower and maybe yeah not speaking to you maybe currently okay this is a seven of pentacles and coming underneath this person that's kind of not want to uh, not want to discuss in a very 
um, in a, a very civilized way and, and kind of have put themselves in this situation where they are very firm with how they want things and this is what I want and this is who I am and I'm not going to tolerate things like this. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles is kind of a pregnancy. It's kind of a situation that needs to, uh, it needs to have some time. So you need to have some patience with this person or with yourself feeling like this. Because if you have it on the outside, you probably have it also on the inside. So you have also a person that's kind of behaving like this on, on your inside. And so have patience. As I said, this won't be solved today and it won't be solved tomorrow and maybe not next year. But this is like a start because you have seen the problem uh, with a very clear vision. You see what's going on. And so the work begins because this is a person that has put some seed to the ground and this is a person waiting for this to grow. So I think you have told something you have put a, you have put a seed here, the, the sun, the soul. It's this is your soul coming down here in, in this child, in, in you being you, seeing something very clearly, uh, loving yourself and other people for exactly who they are, but actually also being able to see what's going on. So this is like being. Uh, shining this beautiful light that might make this uh, this harvest grow. Uh, so there's a lot of hope with this, even if it feels like a catastrophe. Uh, here we have a Knight of Pentacles, uh, King of Pentacles. Sorry, uh, King of Pentacles. Uh, they they are they were supposed to be the gardeners of Earth, uh, taking care of this abundance. But some somewhere on the line, uh, they went a, a little bit wrong, and they become very like. Um, like this towery person, very stable. And uh, they have this, they live on the top of this tower. They still have this abundance here that's uh, shown by the, the world card. It's still there, uh, but they kind of don't want to share with others uh, because they have this uh, ability to create things for themselves, but they want to keep it for themselves as well. Uh, so uh, it's where it has been like a little male function in all of this. Uh, so what's needed is, of course, to uh, to start to um, to work on this abundance instead. Um, this um, uh, square like stony kind of thing, it might be good if you're in a war. But if you want to create, create peace, food is what's needed. Roof over people's head, water, peace, peace is needed. Uh, so uh, need to work more on, on what can be created instead of what can be defended. Okay, uh, so uh, the, the king in the tower here needs to come out and help also the people uh, to be able to have the same ab abundance that, that he himself has. Uh, so um, he's very much kind of the person that lives in this tower. Uh, but um, we also have other other kings that suits really well here. Uh, but you know, it's a very stable system, Earth. Um, so um, this stubbornness can sometimes be in your greatest benefit, but sometimes it can also be uh, stopping you from creating what you want. Uh, so. The next card here uh, is a king of cups. So those kings doesn't have to be um, males. Uh, this could be a female and this could be a male or, or the other way around. But it seems like uh, this person uh, that has um, uh, a bit of a big shadow that they might not want to really um, admit to uh, is going to grow up and be a person that can be a gardener of the earth earth that actually can start to share the abundance and build on abundance because this is a doctor he's a healer he's a farmer he's the person that's kind of can make this um, um, this work for humanity overall and this is a king of cups and he comes underneath this two of pentacles and shadow side uh, so it's a person that's really trying to to better themselves and and to um, kind of shine their light on on their shadows and in the same time it's kind of the love that keeps them stuck it seems <laughs> I don't mean stuck like that but it's a, like a little bit of a honey trap going on here like uh, you want something you want to be with someone or you want to have a certain kind of situation for yourself and this is what's uh, this passion that you have uh, is what's making you go through all this hardship um, so the kings is very good because it shows uh, that 
um, a goal is going to be rich, even if it's going to take time, there's going to be like a very goal orientation and it's two kings. So I think it's two people, maybe um, two friends or a husband and a wife, a girlfriend and a boyfriend that's going to work on this together, even if they are going to need to work on it apart. Uh, for a while like one is working on their shadow here one is working on their shadow here and and they are kind of meeting in the middle um leaving this tower uh, a little bit if you see in this way kind of opening up your heart space and wanting to share and uh, wanting to uh, uh, feel love from others uh, don't want to be in this lonely place anymore uh, so okay and here, here we have a seven of wands uh, coming in underneath the sun. So as I said, this is not something that's going to be solved easily. Uh, they are going to continue resisting uh, of uh, this um, uh, insight. You see the world here, uh, the thing that's need to be... No, it's the, it's the support that you get from the divine. You are on the right place in the right time doing this thing. And now it's about the shadow side. But uh, here this... This person here in this card is kind of resisting this. They still don't want to be uh, responsible for their shadow. They still don't want to be uh, like have this light from the sun, the sun's rays here shining up on them. Uh, so don't be fearful if you meet a lot of resistance. Uh, give it time. Give it a couple of years uh, and, and, and try to stay uh, awake stay um <laughs> stay uh, with attention and and kind of talk very smoothly to this person thinking that if they have a shadow uh, they might as well be dead because they need to be perfect and they don't want to have this realization that uh, something can be like um they might have a shadow within them and it's also a bridge uh, here uh, this is usually a, a door bouncer, much like the Four of Pentacles. But in this card, it's much more uh, hopeful because this person is not longer uh, kind of um, guarding the opening of their cave, which uh, where they have uh, put themselves, uh, like a little bit this. A and it's a bridge here. Uh, and it's flowers here. So uh, it's going to be abundance, even if this person is still kind of... Mm, uh, unable to admit to faults and flaws i think they they are kind of starting to getting it okay so have patience don't don't give up uh, and it, it's they they keep on working with the the pattern that they have that they are they are so like in doctrine with with running away from this with not wanting to see it that it's not going to go away anytime soon uh, so uh, but give it a chance because um, it's a lot of hope with this. And it's also like they have their pride. They don't want to you to excavate them and look at all their problems and kind of saying, well, this is hurtful for me. Uh, this person wants to be a good person. Uh, they don't want to have a lot of flaws. They don't want to have um, you pointing out their problems. But you're still going to, but in a very nice way. Uh, so, okay. I will take some cards for you from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Cosmos and Gaia's Garden. Yes, uh, Gaia's Garden is of course the abundance that we saw with the World card. And that can also be created with uh, the King here, the King of Pentacles. Mm? Uh, he's the gardener of Gaia's Garden, of course. This is fruitation, abundance, reaping what you sow. Uh, so it seems like you have um, reached a point where you can come, uh, where you can start entering this Gaia's garden, actually get happiness and, and, and abundance with other people and understanding and love and exchange and, and, and beautiful share, sharing, sorry. Uh, so it's very promising this situation that has occurred and the cosmos here is a very um, very beautiful support uh, it's kind of you are guided step by step so don't feel alone don't feel despair um, uh, this is what's going on with you on another level uh, they are kind of there for you all the time you're kind of in a hotline to uh, to the divine and you have a dragon also roaming there kind of protecting you and a, a meteor coming with with new energy here um, and it's this costal here uh, and the costal is not the tower the costal is 
um, how you have all the memories that you have, all the experience that you have made. And it's also always going to expand uh, into more beauty and, and abundance. So it's kind of your the home of your soul, if you want to put it in that way. It's kind of the fairy tale uh, with a castle like a goal uh, for for all the uh, hardship coming to this castle, coming home. Uh, so um, creativity was wasteness. It's wasteness. It's kind of being in the web of creation together with the divine. They want to create something beautiful together with you. It might not feel as beautiful now, uh, but it is uh, because uh, it's this willingness, this beautiful willingness uh, to be a better person and, and to do better by yourself and others uh, each and every day and and this light is kind of wanting to uh, to come down to each and every one here. Uh, so it's like what you are doing now, the work you are doing now, it's going to spread in the web of creation. So you're not just um, fighting here for for your little sake. Uh, it's for a bigger cause. And um, you are helping uh, so much uh, the Gaia also, Earth, by cleaning out all these old uh, uh, shadow energies with how we have kind of living in self-hate and and uh, hiding uh, our true selves from uh, each other and, and also from ourselves. And we think we are hiding it from God as well. So past life or oracle card for you. Uh, it's Egypt and trust and faith. And Egypt is a triangle. So it's something about your soul here with the pyramids is a triangle uh, and with old knowledge. Uh, so it's kind of you... Um, for some of you, it will be like, uh, I sense this, um, uh, I have told it before, like an initiation rite going wrong <laughs> or not being able to do this. And it's kind of shameful uh, and it's not. Uh, it's just like experience. And I think you are something that you didn't manage to do then is kind of up again now. Uh, and it's going to be, uh, because here in, in this civilization, we were tested like, uh, with our shadows and kind of um, we were put into different uh, difficult s situation where we were supposed to act like in a certain way but often our uh, kind of um, primordial um, protection things and and stuff um, uh, stopped us from from um, getting through with this uh, so uh, for some Egypt is kind of a lot of failures <laughs> or a lot of like hard tries that didn't, didn't really um, come to to the the blossom that we wanted um, but this is trust and faith uh, so again it's not like the speed with what we are doing things it with the relentless uh, like keep on trying and and it feels like uh, you need a lot of patience. It's not going to be a slow process. Uh, it might be like parts of the time, but but it's going to be like, big, if you are looking back at this time, you will think, well, oh my God, I did so tremendous progress. But when you are here, it might feel like it's going slow, but, but you, are, you are learning a lot of things all the time. But um, it might take like a little while before you reach the ultimate goal because the road is... Um, the beauty of it all. We are not here to just fix it and, and split. We are here to live it. Uh, so now you are living it and you are living this transformation and ascension and this um, uh, this kind of testing that you, uh, you have been working on for such a long time. Okay, my dear Capricorn, I don't know why I'm always talking so long on your, your uh, videos. I'm sorry, but... Um, for those of you still listening, uh, thank you so much. And I hope to see you again in uh, the middle of December. So bye bye.